a goddess of fame and mist. That's what she is. I was close, but I was right. Seth. actually getting attacked, I don't care still. We're going to Jorge's Gap. For our next part. Now you're like, wait a minute, but it's over. Well, it is, the run, I mean, the game's over for the most part. That is the end of the main story, but that was kind of lackluster. We still have a couple of things I need to do. Especially if I want Oh, that's easy. Finally break the mythical unicorn! Where the heck is the freaking unicorn at? I don't think the unicorn's even on launch yet. Because it's not. Gotcha. So... You're wondering, how the heck do I find a kill... Alright, so, death, I mean, he's a that makes sense. Or Hayes Gap is our next target. Now, about this place, we've been through it a couple times before, but we're here for multiple reasons. So, first thing we're here to do is kill one of each of these undead. Now, I'm going to warn you, if you do this on your version, don't take it so fast, because the game can lag. Maybe even crash. Alright? So I'm gonna do exactly what I told you that I sh you shouldn't do. You can feel the lag. And I think I've killed all but one type. No, am I wrong? 
I'm missing two tights, which is probably the, um... The spitter and... Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so bad at aiming at this stupid thing. Oh my god. All right, I didn't think I was gonna get there for a second. There's two. There's the freaking monster. Yes. We're gonna like the game for a second. So we started in this episode at like 79 percent. Right. Uh, right now we're sitting at like 90, I think. 88. I was close. So you're probably wondering what the heck you had to do for the last 12. Well, these two, or half of them. So, what the problem is... You're in this area, if I remember correctly. Um... Um... You gotta find one of each zombie types of force can trample it. And then we have to complete the uh kill the zombie, which we haven't found yet. That means we have to go hunting. So our first stop will be uh Fort Mercer. Sometimes there's a lot of zombies that spawn right here. And of course, as I say that, there's no poison zombies around. I heard it. You know what? We'll probably find it. Five poison zombies eventually. I'm gonna circle back around real quick. I'll be right back, Jess. Well, Frost the uh, yeah, people don't try to shoot me because I'm a freaking up zombie. But the club there is. <coughs> they just don't care. Alright. So we're gonna travel to uh Casa Magarita. I wonder if I gotta go find Seth again. I don't care. Oh, we're gonna be with Bonnie. Huh. Alright, we still have to find that one random poison zombie. And a big heavy zombie. Now, I'm going to take it slow just in case. What happened last time, which angered me, was I was going too fast, went into the zone, and left it, went into the zone again. And it just disappeared. Whatever that creature was. I love where it just right away here at the talk about it. It's not going to be near settlement. Um, let's head down here. <laughs> we 
you ever look at Chupacabra, finally. Hopefully we'll ever get to a finally again. Supposedly his increase rate of being found whenever you do fish in the story on, which we just did. I know he's in Mexico. Be nice to me.
regular zombie. Come on, game. Be nice. You are oh. Yeah. What is the other devil? I remember one of the uh, gods being at the other devil. So, we'll check that out. whenever we do find it. Right, but the goats kind of, uh, people thought we were going to spawn around goats.
There were four goats here. Five goats. He's gotta be, like... Goats are absolutely worthless in this game. I'm gonna find the border, I'm pretty good. Wait. I never did Escalera? Okay. I didn't realize this player I had to do <laughs> Let's go save Escalera. And then we'll go back to Hanukkah. had to be saved at once. That'll be really sad. Okay, we should be at 90. 92? Oh yeah, we've done a couple missions. Okay. So, we have that. Well, 
We're doing that. We're gonna do this tonight. Because I know what the last eight percent is. Okay, so on a zoomed out map, our first goal is gonna figure out where the heck the chupacabra is. And the problem is, he can spawn anywhere in Mexico. It's not like in the main lawn where he can spawn in a certain area. You don't want to be on the horse, or especially death. Because if death kills the chupacabra, you don't get credit for it. Goats. Zombies ain't the way. Well, then again, when we found the first horse, we got chased away by zombies. So. Dead Nightmare. We're finishing it. I'll see you then. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Let me tell you how mad I am right now. The second I looked at something and said, if you get off of death, 
Try a different horse. You have a higher chance of spawning. Okay. I told you about two seconds ago. Literally, about not even a minute later, I find him. Alright. We're just gonna butcher him. Oh, there he is! Holy cow, that... He probably would've killed me. There it is! Alright. Beautiful. I didn't expect... That to work so well. Now... Here's the other problem. You're probably wondering... Yes. That thing alone is worth 4%. You're probably thinking... Okay, what's the other 4%? Well, uh... Yeah, I got some bad news for you. We have to find the freaking unicorn. Now, luckily, I feel like he may be easier. Because he's a horse. So, to finish the 100%, um, I want to say he's in Mexico. And if you notice, there's only like one place in Mexico that has horses. And that's over here. My first guess is going to be where the horses are. Similar to where I'm going to get other animals. We'll get our last two hours. Because we have the episode. And we have the Lamat Revolver, which I don't think is cool, but... Alright, so first goal is we're gonna move... Uh, I'm hoping this is gonna be easy. And again, I will hope it's not because literally it's like the shortest video ever. Open anyway. Oh no. It's almost like I don't care. I'm not sorry, we're on my Perfect. I don't let the horse come to me. Now, I think he's a little bit harder because we have to actually find him by then. We're gonna get back on Pestilence here. And see if we can find ourselves a horse. And I see a horse right there. And that is indeed a unicorn. Hold on. You get back here. Final boss, guys! The unicorn! <laughs> Is 
that it? Zed's dead, baby! Wait, what? We did it, guys! Looks like he flies a little bit. You see this? Alright guys, so 100% in 9 hours, not amazing, not horrible, but heck, I'm kind of impressed. Alright, so it's time for everybody's favorite part, where I'm going to run around with the um, unicorn, which is, what's that? First episode of a game I've done in a long time, probably since actually Red Dead 2, if I'm not mistaken, or Red Dead 1, if I'm not mistaken. And, I don't know if I was 100% accurate. Um, I got like I did say early in the month that the goal is for uh, September, October, B, horror month. When it goes on that nightmare, but, nine and a half hours for a let's play is, uh, Actually, I'm cutting a lot of it out. And we have about two hours of that we're cutting out due to uh, escort missions and such. So, this is just gonna be like, what's next? What's next? Um, Nutt and I are talking about what's going on next, and he wants a, uh, co op let's play, you know? We all know how his co op let's play go. They don't. Um, and honestly, it's probably gonna happen before this video even pops up the funny part. So they will follow me doing a lot of these recordings and like, hey, what the heck is this? Um, for Under Nightmare, this was, I keep hearing this is one of the greatest DLC expansions ever. And me sitting here playing through it, yeah, it was fun. Drop me hours in the car, probably like 10 bucks. I mean, it's what, six projectors you came out. And. Just. It wasn't. I'm kind of disappointed in the difficulty of it. Granted, Red Dead Redemption wasn't that hard of a game, but it always had some challenging moments where I had to stay in cover. Um. Well, I died the Undead three times. Once was due to a, me getting caught to a tree. Couldn't escape. You know, two was my second game. Wildlife killed me as usual. That's what destroyed me in uh, Red Dead Redemption. And what they had to do for October was probably close to the session going up. I mean, that is part of the goal it is to do in Red Dead 2. It being a prequel, that's very interesting. I don't care about anything. I'm done with this game. Screw you. So. You will be seeing Red Dead 2, and you will see... I'll tell you, we're going to do two brand new games back to back. And I don't ever do brand new games. A, Red Dead 2, because I absolutely love Red Dead 1. And we're going to play... I can't say it's pro... I don't know what party number it's going to be. But... The other brand new game will be taking place... Uh, which is something I'm really excited for. So next time on Fact of the Game, you have horror games, you got Red Dead, you got West Virginia.